ಅಭಿಷ್ಟವಾಗಟ್ಟೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕೆ ಐ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಟೋನಮಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಹಾಪುರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಲಾಬಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ವಿ ವಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೂ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಟು ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೇ ಸೊ ದ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಂಬೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಗೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಡಿಕ್ ದ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಐಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಯ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ನಾವು ಸೊ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ
टूल डिजाइन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल थीरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड डिजाइन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स सो अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स और इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स विच आई हैव मेंशन हियर विच आर मशीन डिजाइन टूल डिजाइन एक्चुअली मशीन डिजाइन एंड टूल डिजाइन आर यूज फॉर द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल एज फॉर सिविल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड थीरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड डिजाइन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट कम्स इज डिविजन्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स सो इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स इज डिवाइडेड इन टू अगेन मोर पार्ट्स so engineering mechanics is divided into two parts first is statics okay and second is dynamics okay so the engineering mechanics is divided into two parts what are they first is statics and second is dynamics so what is mean by statics and what is mean by dynamics so statics means a static position okay so what is mean by statics so we'll see here so the statics is nothing but which deals with the action of forces on the bodies at rest as i as i told you that statics is nothing but the in static position means in a rest position so deals with the action of forces on the body at rest okay the forces which are acting on the body when the body is at rest position okay so then what is meant by dynamics so it deals with the action of forces on the body in motion okay so see the difference between statics and dynamics so statics means nothing but that it deals with the action of forces on the bodies at rest okay and dynamics is nothing but it deals with the action of forces on the bodies when it the body is in motion not in rest okay so the engineering mechanics are divided into two parts so further dynamics is also divided into two parts okay so what are they first is kinematics and second is kinetics okay means the the dynamics is also divided into two parts uh, kinetics and kinematics so ki what is mean by kinematics we'll see one by one now what is mean by kinematics it deals with the action of forces on the bodies in motion without considering the mass of the body and force causing motion okay so see the dynamics are divided into two parts first is kinematics and kinetics so kinematics is nothing but it deals with the action of forces on the bodies in motion without considering the mass of the body okay without considering the mass of the body and next kinetics so what is meant by kinetics kinetics is nothing but it deals with the action of forces in the uh, in motion considering the mass of the body uh, considering the mass of the body force causing motion so kinetics and kinematics so what is meant by kinetics it deals with the action of forces on the body when the body is in motion okay and mass consideration okay uh, so here mass we have to consider the mass okay so we have seen the divisions of engineering uh, engineering mechanics divisions of engineering mechanics are engineering mechanics are divided into two parts first is statics second is dynamics okay and statics is nothing but the when the body is in rest position the forces are applied okay and dynamics is nothing but when the body is in motion the forces are applied okay after that the dynamics are again divided into two parts first is kinematics and the second is kinetics so kinematics is nothing but when the forces are acting on the bodies in motion without considering the mass of that body okay without considering the mass of that body so kinetics is nothing but it deals with the action of forces on the body in motion considering the mass of the body okay so here is our first chapter these the these are some of the basics which we have gone through uh, so these are uh, so here after we will see uh, our first chapter in which we will uh, cover these all parts so first part uh, first chapter is fundamentals of forces and the force system so fundamental in that we will study fundamental laws in mechanics force force system of forces what is mean by resolution and composition of forces resultant means what resultant of coplanar force system moments varigon's theorem law of moment couples what is meant by couple and equivalent force couple system so forces and its effect so what is meant by a force okay first of all a general thing what is meant by a force okay so we know all the forces and forces can be defined in uh, can be defined in many definitions uh, can be uh, uh, used for force okay so here i have given the definition so the force is the important in field of mechanics 
which may be broadly defined as an agent which produces or tends to produce destroys or tends to destroy the motion okay so see the definition of it okay i have covered all the uh, uh, means much more uh, in simple way uh, force is uh, important in field of mechanics which may be broadly defined as an agent which produces or tends to produce destroy or tends to destroy the motion so here i will let you know now the force is important in field mechanics which we broadly defined as agent which produces the uh, produces the motion okay produces the motion means we can say uh, a static car means a car which has in which is in rest position okay when uh, we are when we are, uh, we are when we used to drive the car now okay we are we are giving the force to it to create the motion okay then what is mean by destroy or tends to destroy the motion so destroy or tends to destroy the motion is nothing but the brakes okay when we when the when the car is in motion when we apply the brakes okay that is a force applied on that motion and it destroys the motion okay and it stops the car so what are the effect what are the effects of forces okay so what uh, what does the uh, force effect uh, forces effect in on the body okay so the forces may be produced following effects on the body okay what are they so see actually there are ma many uh, effects so in which i have written four four effects that it may change the motion of the body isn't it so as i have given the example of our car that when i sit for driving okay and when i put a first gear and uh, when i accelerate it i have i have, i am what i am doing i am giving the force to that body isn't it so that uh, it will come in motion okay so it may change the motion of the body so when it will change the motion of the body after first gear when i put on the second gear third gear fourth gear top gear okay isn't it so the car goes on running fast okay so i am changing the motion of that body okay i am changing the motion of that body so it may change the motion of the body that is if the body is at rest the force may set it in motion and if the body is already in motion the force may accelerate it okay so when the uh, car is in motion if i apply, apply the brakes that is means that means the force okay it will accelerate it means it will uh, come to the rest position or it will change the motion and come slow okay so it may change the motion of the body that is uh, the when the body is at rest the force may set it in motion and vice versa it is the body which is, uh, if the body is already in motion the force may accelerate it it may retard the motion of the body it may retard means it may minimize the motion of that body okay minimize the motion means if uh, if if i am driving a car with the speed of 80 okay if i am coming across the obstacle some obstacles i will i will apply the apply, i will apply the brakes that means i am giving the force to that body that will retard my motion from 80 to 20 or 0 okay if i want to stop the car so okay so it may retard the forces already acting on the body thus bringing it to rest or in equilibrium as i told you uh, if i am uh, if i am uh, driving the car at 80 speed okay if i apply a brake to retard the force uh, i am coming till 20 and after that if i want to bring it in rest then uh, i will apply the further brake and uh, i will bring that car in the equilibrium state means in static state so last is it may give rise to the internal stresses in the body on which it acts okay so it may give rise to the what is meant by internal stresses so internal stresses means if i want to give you the example of again car okay all the examples which i am giving is uh, 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 in the day to day life which we see okay so it may give the rise in the internal stresses means when i apply the brake the stresses are being induced on the uh, car tires okay and the that tires uh, creates the friction between the road and that tire okay and the uh, body will come it in rest okay body comes it in rest so it may give uh, rise to the internal stresses on the body on which it acts or vice versa we can say that uh, if i accelerate it or if, and if i want to go in uh, uh, fast or or, or or have a uh, high speed then i will accelerate it so the internal stresses are developed on that engine and the uh, car will move very fast okay 
so next part comes is what are the characteristics of forces so characteristics of forces in order to determine the effect of forces acting on the body we must know the following characteristics of the forces means what are the characteristics of forces so first of all it is the magnitude of force second is nothing but the direction of the line along which the force acts third is the nature of force that is whether the force is push or pull okay whether the force is push or pull this is denoted by the placing the arrow uh, on the headline of that action of force okay and next is the point at which or through which the forces acts on the body okay so i have given the diagram here so we can see the diagram here in which the 30 newton uh, force is applied here 30 newton force uh, i am applying on the uh, box uh, in which uh, it is made of the 30 degree okay it's uh, it's making an inclination of it is making an inclination of 30 degrees and 30 newton load on the body okay so here if 30 newton if a 30 newton force is acting on a body as shown in the figure then it has following characteristics so what are that characteristics so see the magnitude is nothing but the amount of which the forces is acting okay what amount of force is acting that means 30 newton force is acting that is that is called as a magnitude of the force okay the strength of that body which are, which are trying to pull okay so mag it is called as a magnitude so 30 newton is nothing but the magnitude second what is the direction here direction is nothing but 30 degree direction okay it's not horizontal it's inclination of 30 degree it's inclination of 30 degrees so uh, they are trying to pull the 30 newton load is trying to pull that box at 30 degree angle okay at 30 degree angle so that is called as a direction next is point of application so where the uh, point of application is that is the most important part there okay so it is applied at the middle which uh, which i have uh, noted as point a okay which i have noted as a point a here okay and last is the nature of force which is pull type of a force or push type of a force what is meant by pull type of a force means uh, the arrow which is given there it, uh, near the 30 newton load okay the arrow which is given there there uh, which is given near the 30 kilo newton load just a minute i will note it here so this one arrow okay just a minute so this arrow okay what is that arrow means arrow means it is going away from the body is nothing but the pull type of force it is going away from the body is nothing but the pull type of force okay so if the arrow is in this direction then it should be a push type of force okay then it should be a push type of force so these are some of the characteristics of forces okay so characteristics we will go across the characteristics of forces what are the characteristics of forces so in order to determine the effect of the force acting on the body we must know the following characteristics first is magnitude second is direction third is the nature of uh, nature of the force and the point at which it is been uh, acting okay on uh, the point at which the force is been acted okay so if uh, here i have given the example so if 30 newton force uh, again it is acting on the body as shown in the figure then the following characteristics uh, characteristics are there first is magnitude which is the quantity of the uh, force which has been applied which is 30 newton okay and uh, second is direction okay direction is at 30 degree here okay direction is at 30 degree here okay third is point of application at the, so the point of application at a here it is the point of application okay and so here it is a point of application and next is nothing but the nature of force which is pull type of force or a push type of force so this one arrow is nothing but the pull type of force which is going away from the body okay so here we, uh, today we will stop here and in further lecture we will see the next part. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.